All right, this is my very first test for doing a uh, how-to video. Um, I am going to be doing this video on how to copy uh, something from the web and make it your own clip art. So what I've gone and done is gone to a, a website that lists uh, coloring pages for free and picked something with a Christmas theme and uh, downloaded that and put it on my page. Now, the very first thing I'm going to do with this is I am going to lock this image. So I'm going to go look at my mouse off, choose the photo, and lock it in place so it doesn't move around. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to choose the shape editor, and I am going to produce a little test line. Now, the first thing I want to do here is, uh, first of all, I'm going to make it a bit wider so that it looks kind of like the width of line that they used on the drawing here. And then I want to choose a different color than the black that the, the drawing is so it will stand out a little better. So I'm just going to go ahead and set the line color to this blue. That should stand out nicely against uh, the rest of the drawing. So after I've done that, I'm going to press Escape so I'm not... Uh, drawing from that line anymore and I'm just going to start doing this and trying to follow this little line around and bending the line where I need to. Bend that down just a little bit. Now I'm going along and this is all one shape for now, but uh, I'm not going to keep it that way. So, but uh, I'll show you that in a moment. Bending the line to make it look like this. Now for this one I need to do a little double line adjustment there and for kind of an S shape. And now the Next thing I'm going to do is hit escape. So that uh, deselects that line <clears throat> and I can move on to my next line that I want to replicate. I can play around with that a little bit. Maybe nudge it. That looks a little bit better. I'm going to hit escape again and replicate my next line. That looks okay. And now I'm going to start replicating here. Oh, I forgot to hit escape, so I'll just hit undo, escape, and now I'm going to come along here and whoop. if you do this like I do sometimes, just hit undo. Undo's my friend, considering how often I end up creating a bit of line that I don't want to. Um, all right, so now I'm going to follow this outline all right up to here and back around. All right, and I'm going to hit escape again, and I'm going to do this, and I can come back and play with that one a bit later, and I will. Replicate that line, replicate this one here, looking halfway decent, and I'll fill in the rest of this with a shape later. I could go ahead and do this just to mark where it is. All right, <clears throat> that looks okay. Next, I'm going to fill in this line, yeah, looks kind of halfway decent, there we go, and now I'm going to put in a line back here. Now I'm not going to worry too much about uh, the toys. So now that I've got the stocking shape uh, like I want it, I'm going to start doing a bit of cleanup. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is take my test line and get rid of it 
and then I'm going to go over here to the uh, mouse off and um, not unlock that but make it invisible so that all I can see now is my is my stocking <clears throat> so now I'm going to select everything control a and I'm going to group it and now because I want this black now I'm going to go ahead and change the line colors back to black so now I've got my stocking shape uh, and that's all good so now the next thing I want to do is add some color to this so what I what I like to do is create a new layer a separate layer I'm going to go ahead and lock this entire mouse off layer create my new layer and call this color and then I like to take the color layer and move it below where I have my lines, which is mouse off. So now that I've done that, I will start drawing on this layer. Um, so this is relatively easy to do. I'm going to start following my own lines from before. And uh, more or less following the same outline that I had and move that down to create my shape and I'll give it a little color maybe I'll make it a nice uh, darker red uh, I don't want any outline on this so I'll change that and then I will use my Busier curve handles to get this down to the same place. Perfect. Now uh, I can pretty much do the exact same thing here. And follow the same steps. don't want the toes and the heel to be the same color so I'm going to exclude those for now. Uh, the color part's very forgiving so I could color it as well, color the toes and, he toes and heels as well and then just cover over it later but uh, for demonstration purposes I'm going to leave it that way. Okay so now it's nice red and uh, I'm going to go ahead and fill in these areas here. This I wanted to be kind of black. So now I've got that in there. I'll fill that in with black. That's wonderful. I'm going to do the same thing here up at the top for now. Make it. Make this black as well. That's fine. You can come back through and edit some of these if you'd like. I mean, uh, you can see maybe, maybe you can't. There's a tiny bit of white showing through there. Anyway, that's taken care of. And now for the toes and the rest. that. Uh, what color do I want to make that? Who knows? Um, make it pink for all I care. There we are. And oh, there we go. And now we have our nice little Christmas stocking. And that, ladies and gents, is how you turn clip art from the web into your own vector clip art. Thank you for viewing. I hope you learned something.